Uh, let's turn our attention now to the Barclays Premier League leaders. Oh, what an absolute screamer! Arsenal have been in unstoppable form so far. And a bang! Oh, what a goal! But their opponents, West Ham, did the double over them last season. A stormy encounter in the East End was followed by a smashing grab raid and a fine goalkeeping display at the Emirates. Six months on, Simon Brotherton was at Upton Park. Unbeaten Arsenal are without Eduardo, but both Alexander Clebb and Robin Van Persie return, while Scott Parker makes his Premier League debut for West Ham, having recovered from injury. Freddie Lundberg faces his former club, and Henri Camera gets his first start up front. Craig Bellamy's hamstring still keeps him out. Oh, look at that for a pass from Van Persie. Abu Diaby now. Early pressure from Arsenal, and the shot from Adibayor. Well, there's an early warning sound for West Ham United in the first minute of the game here. Terrific pass from Van Persie, and look at the space there for Adibayor on the edge of the penalty area. Parker. Now McCartney. Done well to find Ashton. Oh, this is a great chance, and it fell to Lundberg against his former teammates. Well, that was sharp play from West Ham. Just the sort of play that Lundberg will have been used to when he was with Arsenal for all those years. And Kerbishley will be encouraged by the start that his team have made here. Now it's Adi Bayor, very much on his own here at the moment, waits for support in the centre. This is Clare, in towards Van Persie! Arsenal are ahead! With 12 minutes played, and it's Robin Van Persie. And having scored so many himself in the past couple of weeks, Adi Bayor helps to turn creator with Alexander Clegg. Van Persie got there in front of the defender. Strict in the air from the Dutchman, and Rob Green just couldn't keep it out. Arsenal failed to score against West Ham home and away last season. It's taken them 12 minutes this time round. Sturdy tackle by Noble there on Kleb, which the referee has taken exception to. Kleb stays down, holding that right ankle. Here's the challenge once again, and it was not a very good one at all. And quite rightly, Alan Wiley gives Mark Noble a yellow card, and Kleb doesn't look very clever at all there, does he? Here's the tackle again, real force behind it from Noble, who's never less than fully competitive. Kleb, having been clattered, has to go off to find out the extent of the damage to his ankle. Flamini, oh, look at the space he's been afforded there by West Ham United. Flamini forcing the save. Well, he was allowed to come forward of his own free will there. Nobody closing him down whatsoever. Ebue now looking threatening. Van Persie. Oh, West Ham saved by the post. Van Persie shakes his head and well he might, this was an absolutely cracking shot. So firmly hit away from Gabidon. Green I think may have actually got a fingertip to that. Noble looking for Mullins. Senderos steps in, it's fallen well here for Lee Bowyer. Ashton with a chance. Oh, it was a good chance, it was the best one West Ham have had today. It was one of the only ones West Ham have had today. Look at that, straight at Almunia. 
Lucas Neal now away from Abu Dhabi. Ashton with a little layoff to camera. Oh, that's beautifully done. Flag goes up, won't count. Flag went up early from Peter Kirk up on the near side. And Lundberg is denied a goal against his old team. As it is played forward, Lundberg, I think, is just onside. Peter Kirkup, of course, involved in a controversial decision just a couple of weeks ago in Jose Mourinho's last league match in charge of Chelsea, when uh, it was he who disallowed Solomon Kalou's goal for offside. A little bit of spice added to the game from that decision, but here comes Adi Bayo! Oh, good save by Green! Really good save, and a very important one as well in terms of the context of the game. At 1-0 with 18 minutes played in the second half, West Ham could ill have afforded to concede there. Ooh, just got away from uh, Noble, Camera retrieving possession well. Ashton! Not a million miles away from an equaliser. Camera winning the ball back and Ashton trying to seize his chance. Diaby, always allowed to run, oh, and he nearly unleashed an absolute blockbuster of a shot there into the net. Diaby nearly lifted the goal out of the ground last week against Derby with his goal at the Emirates Stadium, and he wasn't far away there. Diaby and Fabregas combined to dispossess Lucas Neal. It was good play by Clichy there to just thread that ball through. Andy Bayor, just in, didn't quite go out. Looks promising here for Arsenal. It's Clichy! Oh, and a save again by Green. West Ham's fans are complaining. They feel the ball had gone out on the Arsenal left. Andy Bayor just about kept it in play. And Clichy there had an opportunity to score his first goal for Arsenal, but he was denied by Robert Green. Roberto Silva, first touch for him, finding Robin van Persie. He's got Abu Dhabi well up here. Just looks for an opening which just clearly isn't there. Ibue now, really dangerous moments here for West Ham. Flamini! Arsenal so close to a second goal. Heavy pressure in and around the West Ham United penalty area. Flamini lets fly, and it just takes a little deflection there. You feel the timing of the goal from Robin van Persie so early in the game helped you a lot, though, because it really seemed to suck the atmosphere out of the crowd, for one thing. It did, and uh, it gave us confidence to get out of the back, and uh, then uh, I feel in the second half we were even more bold to come out and uh, close them down in their half, and from then on uh, it looked like we can always score a goal, but... Uh, no, but West Ham is dangerous, they have good players. We were home, you know, so uh, that's what disappointed me. I went on about it half-time and I've gone on about it afterwards because the start was the most important thing. We let a goal in after two minutes up at Newcastle uh, the weekend and uh, having to chase that one, and we've done, done it again today. There was a very close call on the Freddie Lundberg goal, which was disallowed for offside, and it looked as if he might be on. Yeah, we, we, I think he's definitely on when you see it. There's no daylight uh, to be seen, but... Uh, you know, they are tight things and close things and, um, you know, we didn't get it. And uh, the stage of the game, I think if we would have got it, we was back in it and it was all to play for. How's Alexander Kleb? It was a hefty challenge from Mark Noble. Uh, very, very uh, difficult challenge and uh, you should see his leg. It's very bad, in a very bad shape. We don't think it's something broken, but uh, certainly we'll be out for Tuesday night.